Uh, what's up, everybody? Mr. Nation One here. Yeah, I know you, you can't see me, but I had to put on the, the map lights from the dome light. Oh, uh, anyway, um, I was going to talk about uh, what happened yesterday over in Parkland, Florida, and which I would call it the Valentine's Day Massacre. The reason why I said that is because uh, there was another school shooting on Valentine's Day, so you might as well just call it the Va Valentine's Day Massacre all over again because uh, there's this one dude. His name is uh, Nicholas Cruz, and it turns out he's one of those uh, Antifa terrorists. Yeah, that, that, they, that's short for uh, anti-fascists, but actually they're the fascists, and they're just looking to finger some point. And, uh, oh yeah, and plus they're socialists anyway, so, you know, my thoughts on socialism, what it is, is that they, uh, they want to take away your, uh, your right to private property. So any property you got anywhere, they want to try to take that from you just to give it some bums and freeloaders, which I think is absurd. Yeah, so that, that shit can't possibly happen in this country anyway. I mean, it's already happening in Germany. So, that, and, you know, it's by Nazis, and then the shit happened over in Russia. Yeah, so it, it's so ridiculous the, the way it's been. Like, So what happened, he, uh, he shot about... I think he shot 17 students. Uh, there's this one high school student. Now, she was saying that, uh, well, when she heard the gunshots, when she was in one classroom, uh, I think she said uh, one bullet went through the door. Yeah, she, possibly the door wasn't closed all the way. I'm not sure, but she said it went right through the door and got about um, maybe two inches by her ear. I mean, she could just hear the bullet just spill on past. And then shot somebody right from behind her. So that that wasn't great either, and then there's another one. Uh, so that since there's some gunshots, they just ran into the staircase to take cover. Yeah, but it, this is getting ridiculous uh, with school shootings. Like this ain't the first time it happened. Like I, I remember I first heard about school shootings as long as I remember it was back in 1999 with the Columbine shooting, and I was in the fourth grade back then, and I, I thought that was crazy too. And you know it's just that you know you blame the parents because you know lack of discipline, lack of uh, corporal punishment. And then medications they have the kids on, and, that, and that's what made them go crazy, and they lose it, and they want to shoot everybody. What's ridiculous, like, okay, if you hate school so much, I understand, but why don't you just drop out and do something else safe that doesn't involve killing people? Yeah, so, now, I think maybe every school should have, like, at least uh, armed security guards, you know, retired police or retired military. Because, uh, you know, if anybody armed in, you know, school property, you know, by staff, then it'll, it'll stop this madness. It'll at least shoot the shooter before it starts shooting multiple people. Yeah, now they're going to come to the point where they have uh, metal detectors in every single school then. See, when I was going to high school, they didn't have metal detectors because we didn't have crazy people like that. But still, I mean, especially if you're on your way to class, you probably had to be in there early, especially if you're... If the first bell rings around 7.20, then, yeah, you had to come in, like, a little earlier just so you'd be in line just to go through, like, you're going through the airport. Yeah, which takes up a lot of time. And, well, it turns out, it was Cruz, well, he was already expelled from school. It's only how he snuck in. So, yeah, I mean, he's going to be seeking the death penalty. So... In the meantime, um, he's going to be cruising for a bruising. You know what I mean? Well, even though the last name Cruz is in Spanish, but it, I'm trying to rhyme it with cruising. Like, you're just cruising with the cruise control. And it's, it's just so fucking retarded. I mean, you you look at a kid, and, you know, with his fucking fist up, it, it looks like he's wrapping a dildo. And, uh, you know, with this mean look in his face, and, you know, you think he looks like a wimp. Plus, he had that bandana scarf <clears throat> with the socialist flag, you know, the hammer and sickle, like they had in Russia, and then all the other freaking socialist Marxists. Uh, there's pictures of them. I think Karl Marx is, Marx is in and all those other fuckers in here and shit, and Piggy Vera. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this is fucking ridiculous. The way it's gotten to be. I mean, especially why on Valentine's Day, anyway. I mean, how's anybody in school or supposed to grow up to be civilized human beings 
if they have this shit going on. Yeah. But a lot of these morons want to push for gun control. Is that, no, why, why not just uh, control the crime that's coming in your city rather than disarming the citizens and make them more helpless and then more criminals with guns start shooting everybody? Next thing you know, they're going to try take the guns away from cops. I mean, it's already happened in England and Australia. So that's why you see them, you know, with the billy clubs, which doesn't do much anyway. And I think most of them got shot anyways. Yeah, so uh, moving on. Uh, but, we, you know, I'll finish up with this uh, episode today. So uh, well, since I already got 101 subscribers, that's great. So, uh, subscribe more. Let's see if I get like at least 998 more. So, uh, this will be all. Later.